What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ebony, and I have my wonderful special guest with me. Um, you know her, but she's still a special guest to Hi, me. Hi, I'm Ty. And this is... John Vonte. John Vonte, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, how long, John Vonte, have you been APCT? I'm um, going on two and a half years now. Taisha, you can tell the people again how long. So, it's been a year, almost a year and a half. And uh, for me, it's been, I just figured this out because I have to piece it together, but about four years. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, so these two just passed their certification. Ah! Y'all know I was screaming? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. Listen, how do y'all feel? I'm proud of myself that I passed. I feel very good about it. I feel accomplished. Like I finished something. Yes. Good. How good. do you feel? I I feel amazing. It was something that honestly I was losing sleep over because you know <laughs> how I am. I'm usually like I ain't about to lose no sleep. I was losing sleep over this. Stress. Yes. And now that it's behind me, I can. I mm -hmm. did it. I tackled it. I accomplished it. And. We won. Yeah. How many times did you take the test? Oh, this was my second time taking it. Yeah. So if you ever take this test and you feel and you don't make it the first time, there is another chance. Mm -hmm. It's not. Yeah, it's not like a one and done. Like you can take it again. Like I improve and pass yes. the second time. Yes. 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 So, um, what were the questions like? Hmm. Um. It wasn't what I expected. What did you expect? I used um, I used other people's um, opinions to kind of create my expectation, and it wasn't what I was told. I kind of feel like it was a bit harder than what was suggested to me, um, or maybe it was because I was just a bit nerve wracked. Maybe so, but um, it was a tad bit, just a, a little bit more difficult than what I expected. If you had to tell the people at least like one uh, idea of a question that was on it that possibly tripped you up, if you remember, because I know I was forgetting questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there one that you could think of? That tripped me up. Or what did you see most? Like, did you see, I know for me, um, I told you guys that I used the CCHT uh, prep app. I did as well. Mm -hmm. It was suggested to me and then I passed it on. So whatever I get, it like helps. I pass it on. It helps. Um, and I saw a lot of uh, reprocessing back in the day. They used to reprocess the dialogue. I got a lot of those questions. Yes. I didn't get a lot of those questions. I, I probably got I like a, one or two out of the hundred. Was it like four to six maybe? Yeah. It was it was a bunch of those questions, and I was like, <laughs> I ain't doing, never. <laughs> we're doing what to a dialyzer? Oh, that's sterilizing. Oh. That's nasty. That's yeah. all I can think of. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the people had to get dialyzed, but at the end of the day, it just meant to be like, Ugh. yeah. So it was those questions. I, of course, it was a lot of the scenario questions. You get a patient. Um, you get blood pressures, you get a little background story of like um, what led them to even have to be on dialysis, like maybe they're diabetic or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they ask you, once they give you the scenario, um, they say, what do you expect the next assessment to be? Or what would the nurse what do you expect the nurse to do yes. next? Mm -hmm. That question, I was like, I'm not a nurse. I got a lot of those. So it was like, would, she, would the nurse give oxygen? Would the nurse give a bolus of saline? You like, had to. Yeah, because it's. Yeah. Because, like, seeing it on paper and seeing it in action, mm -hmm. there's. So different. It's kind of yeah. like we might, not to say we wouldn't call for the nurse, mm -hmm. but we might jump into action before the nurse even get there. Mm -hmm. Like, if a patient's blood pressure drops, mm -hmm. like, the nurse might be on the other side of the room. So. I'm gonna say nurse while I'm yeah simultaneously yeah. rinsing back saline, cutting mm -hmm. off like mm -hmm. you know. So it's kind of like 
What do you mean? What would they do? Like, yeah, what would the nurse do? I don't, and I'm mm-hmm. not in that position, but I okay. So, those questions. I also got a lot of um, you have to diagnose a patient, their blood pressure is this, they're this. Um, what were some other things that they said? Um, you would have to say, oh, like they were cold and clammy. Um, this is, oh, that. yeah, um, like what symptoms are yeah. that? The, all these symptoms, okay, what's wrong with the patient? And yeah. you have to say, is it low blood pressure? Is it this that? Steel syndrome. Yes, a lot yeah. of um, mm-hmm. Like, um, yeah, about, I did get that question. Yeah, that um, threw maybe me Maybe once up. or twice. Yeah, I did get a couple of those. Um, and we're not going to dive into each and every yeah. one of these on this video. So you guys, like, if you can, take note of this. Like, take note of steel syndrome. Take note of yes. symptoms of um, low blood pressure. Oh, uh, even of um, what's the difference what is between it? cremation? Uh, what is it? Um, the hemolysis. Um, and hemolysis. Mm-hmm. I got oh, that. I got and that getting their body, um, the the equilibrium of their body. Yes. Yeah, um, um the dang, what is the word? Is that what it's called? Yes. Like the, when they yeah. first start dialysis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So look up some of these words because they're gonna be on there. Yeah, they're gonna be on there. Yes. What can you have you said everything just about it? Oh, there is one question that threw me off. Which one? Um, I don't know if it was on you guys's, but it was something like the patient is standing at the scale post treatment, <laughs> yeah. and they start to kind of sway mm-hmm. and lose their balance. What do you do? Yeah. Ner- what do you do first? One. Alert the nurse or ease them to the floor? I'm like, what oh my you god, with- I got that question. What did, you what did I say? <laughs> I chose. Oh. I, okay, so this is what went through my mind. I was do like, I walk off? first of all, <laughs> do I want that? In my mind, I was like, you do both at the same time. Like, yeah. you ease them down as you're, you call the nurse as you're easing them down. So then I was like, that's not the answer y'all want. And y'all didn't give that you option. Give a text so yeah. it wasn't a select all. It was like one or the other. So I was mm-hmm. like, ease them down. The, ease them down yes. because that's the nurse don't come. That's what happened. Right now. Yes. You cannot right say. Now. Yes. Which has happened. Gravity. I mean, I've seen that happen before. Because if I walk off to notify the nurse, I have to, yeah, I have to let you know in past tense. They were falling. They no. are because now they are on the floor. Ground. They are yeah. on the ground. Yeah. yeah. The ground. But I notified I you. That. So I did so, the yeah. ease to the ground. Yes, me too. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a that and that was a trick one. You got to think about like. What would you really do? What's happening in what this would moment? You, what would you really do? Mm-hmm. So that's when it's like, oh, they're questioning my yes. patient safety knowledge. Yes. Not mm-hmm. and, and don't feel like it's tricking you for a uh, a nurse question because you know a lot of questions might have blah blah blah. Notify the nurse. No, this isn't a notify the nurse situation. First, like it was like first was um, I chastised. Sure patient safety. Boom. What's first? A patient safety mm-hmm. is first. Mm-hmm. But in real life, if that does happen. As the patient is going, as soon as you see that patient is going down, you're calling for help. Yes. ASAP. You're like, help, mm-hmm. bringing them down. Uh, yeah, as you're yeah. doing it. Don't walk off to get that nurse. Don't do that. Ease them um, to the ground. A lot of other questions that I got were water room based. Um, A lot were water room based. So if you're a tech who doesn't work the water room, they might be a bit tricky for you because they they ask real specifics like um oh if the if uh, you, the chlorine if there's a chlorine breakthrough yes. oh, chlorine. yeah know. it asks about that like if there's a chlorine breakthrough kind of like I what would you do leak, um, a i blood had a blood leak. leak question okay 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 but i got a lot of water room questions um you had to know um what the carbon tanks are for? What do they do? Um, oh, the well, carbon you have and the to polishers. Know what those do so that you can be able to answer the question? Because if true. you didn't know what they do, then you wouldn't be able to answer the question. Very true. A lot of water room questions. Very true. Ooh, uh-huh. that means I need to do a water room video. Uh. Mm-hmm. You, you you must you must because it'll help people like me out. <laughs> yeah, people who don't touch the water room. Okay, so um, why don't you touch the water room? Because I am um, part of the float team. Which means I don't have a home clinic. I'm like a dialysis tech nomad. Mm -hmm. And I just go to different clinics around Metro Atlanta, helping out where I'm needed. Mm -hmm. So when I get there, I do my work. And at the end of the day, I just clock out and I go home. 
So I don't really touch the water room. I don't really do water checks. I know how to do them. But like, if you ask me, like, hey, can you go do this water check? Yes, I know how to do it. But it's not in the float team's job description. Mm -hmm. It's just you show up, you help out, fill the spot where there is a tech mm -hmm. supposed to be. And then at the end of the day, you clock out and you go home. It's not a regular day-to-day -day thing that float, like float, it's not coming to help you with the water room. <laughs> Flo is coming to care. help you with patient care. Mm -hmm. Now, I do get him to help me with granny flow. <clears throat> He's oh, so boy. wonderful. I you tried. Really I tried. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that granny flow, honey. <laughs> oh, Lord, them boxes. Them boxes are tearing me up. <laughs> yeah, I skip the gym every that time. It smells good to me. No. It, it smells like salt and vinegar chips to me. But not the ones you want to eat, though. That, that's true. That's true. Or a pickled egg. Yeah. I can go through some pickled eggs. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be hungry. Penguins. All right, stay focused. Um, mm, real sorry, quick, because no, I'm about to gotta go. But mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, what has it been like to be a man working in uh, on this side of dialysis? Okay, um, I feel like mm, it has its ups because well, more ups than downs. But I don't even want to call them downs. It's just challenges I need to tackle. Um, and I notice with female patients they gravitate towards males more. They're like, oh, mm -hmm. dominant energy. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't think I have dominant energy, they just see a man. Mm -hmm. And they say, okay, let me gravitate towards him. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I'm just here to cannulate. <laughs> Call a friend. Make sure you're good during your treatment. But I have noticed at most clinics when it comes to dealing with male patients, mm -hmm. they're used to that maternal female medical energy like caring for them yeah. so let's mm -hmm. say um you're putting on a patient a male patient and i come over and be like hey how you guys doing hey sir how are you you may kind of just like shell up on me like and at first i didn't know how to take it i was just like okay well ouch or just straight have the hard face like yeah like are we doing this right now, sir? Are we <laughs> trying to alpha male each other out right now? Because I don't want to participate in this competition. I'm on your side to help take care of you. But <laughs> I can't give you maternal energy. So I it has been, it took me a little bit to get used to that. Mm -hmm. But now I'm just like, okay, when I meet a new male patient, and I'm like, hey, how are you? How's your day going? And he's kind of like standoffish. I'm like, you're going to warm up to me. Mm -hmm. I get, so yeah, I get what it is. Happens. Yeah, I don't okay. take it personal anymore. But at first, I'm like, that stung. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. So that's take the patient side. What about take the staff side? Oh, take the staff side. I have, deal with a lot of women. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, I have noticed whenever it comes time to tra like transfer a heavier patient or. <laughs> lift a bio bin it's always oh call the man damsel in distress yeah no my back hurts too <laughs> my back hurts too i i got the same amount of vertebrae as you and i want to make sure all of mine is good just because a box is five pounds out of your weight range push old. yourself <laughs> work out those buys and tries don't call me <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're stronger than me. Like, no. Just because you don't want to hurt your back. Guess what? <laughs> me neither. <laughs> me neither. Fun fact. I like my body. <laughs> and I want to keep it in pristine condition. Because right now, oh my gosh, I feel like the, my back barely holding on my oh strands God. right now. So yeah, I feel like that is the only, like, when I'm weighing pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I love it. I, I love it. I really do love it because I get that, oh my gosh, there's energy in here. Because sometimes when there's like an all-female staff and whatnot, sometimes people put heads. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And whatnot. And it I, goes down. <laughs> and and y'all know me. I like to be that cheerleader, that mediator. Like, oh. Come on, you guys. No, come on. Let's do this teamwork. And sometimes that's what it needs, like a new face in the clinic. Mm -hmm. A new type of energy. Yes, and some testosterone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's don't ask melody. me to lift nothing. All right. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I like my back too. Yeah. yeah. Um, All backs matter. <laughs> yes. 
Especially my I, wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. So if you're new watching this, um, let me know down in the comments. Let us know how it has been for you. Um, whether you're new or old or what not, what the case may be. Um it was real having you on that. We're gonna have Bonte on here again. Yes, again. Yes. Yes. Welcome to the crew. I know, I know, don't make me tear up. <laughs> oh Lord, I'll cry through oh all my, my back. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it to me. Don't do it. Y'all know I'm emotional. Oh my god. So until next time, catch y'all later. Bye. Bye. Okay, we